Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Elizabeth. We will be looking for big changes over the next couple of days as we'll deal with quite a bit of wind as our next storm system will be moving toward the state out ahead of it. That wind will be ramping up to around 50 to 60 miles per hour at a gust. That will lead to a higher fire danger throughout this afternoon and it will also lead to quite a bit of blowing dust. So visibility will be reduced in some locations throughout the afternoon, so watch out for that. As the storm crosses the state, through tonight and tomorrow, we'll start to see precip chances in the form of rain across much of the state, but we will pick up a little bit of snow over the northern mountains as we usher in some colder air as well. We'll hold on to a few of these snow showers on Wednesday before things start to clear out and warm back up toward the end of the week. Some developing news out of northern New Mexico. A school bus crash leaves one person dead. This was the scene from Sky News 13. The bus crashed into the ravine on the side of the road, coming to a stop at some trees. The Rio Arriba County Sheriff's Department tells us the bus was from the Mesa Vista School District. It was headed for the Ojo Caliente Elementary School at the time. There is no word if all the students on the bus route were actually on board, but we do know that nine students were injured. Six of them were taken to the ER in Española, and the other three were treated at the scene. The Sheriff's Department tells us that the driver was found dead at the scene and that he may have died from a heart attack, the crash, or possibly a combination of both. State police are continuing to investigate. A teenager is behind bars for a horrific crash that killed two other teens over the weekend. Police say a total of eight people were crammed in an infinity when it flipped on I-25 near Las Vegas. All eight were thrown from the vehicle, killing Kayla Martinez and Alejandra Sanchez, just 14 and 12 years old. Two other teens were still in the hospital. The driver, 17-year-old Wayne Lovato, is behind bars at the juvenile detention center. Police say he was driving drunk. His friends who survived are speaking out. Don't go with the drunk driver. It's it's a big risk. I mean, you may think it's fun, but in all reality, you don't know what could happen. Nobody wanted this to happen. They were both and both two amazing girls. Police are still trying to figure out how Lovato got the alcohol in the first place. He is now facing two counts of vehicular homicide, reckless driving, and DWI charges. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.